Hello, I'm Rebecca of Pocketful of Posies. Today's video is another pattern testing video. I am testing another pattern for Kenna of Kenna Sews, and I will link all of her information in the description below. And this one is a 1918 dress. It's taken from an original garment, and I'm really excited to try this out. It's interesting, there are no closures, and the bust measurement on the original pattern of the original dress the bust measurement is quite large, 57 inches or 58 inches. The waist measurement is 46 inches, I believe. And the hip measurement is only 52 inches. So it's got interesting measurements. So I know that it's not going to fit me perfectly. So I'm going to need to do some alterations, but I will take you through all of those alterations that I do and I'm excited to share the finished garment with you. So without further ado, let's get to it. Here we go. This is a relatively new fashion era for me. So I looked online to see if I could find some fashion plates that looked similar to the extant dress. These day dresses look pretty close. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do here is just make up the skirt as a mock-up in its in its current size and that will tell me where I need to add inches I know I need to add inches because the hip measurement is way off from my hip measurement the waist is only what I think maybe four is it, or three and a half inches off my natural waist I probably will wear a corset with this. I do not have a like 1918 corset. I just have my Esmond Edwardian corset, but I may wear that with this. Um, but so that reduces my waist just, I think like maybe an inch, not a whole lot. So I don't need to add a ton of room in the waist. But the hip measurement was, I think, eight inches <laughs> smaller than my hip measurement. So I'm going to put this skirt together. The first thing I'm going to do, uh, of course, do all of my registration marks here. Um, but the first thing I want to do is I want to sew this, and I'm just going to reduce the seam allowance and see where that gets me. I know that won't get me all the way, but I wanna see what that does because I'll probably just reduce the seam allowance in the waist as well. So we'll see. Hercules was on hand for mock-up support. lot of things going on right now. <clears throat> okay, so this dress doesn't have any closures, so I didn't leave anything open on the skirt. And so I'm just gonna try it on with the corset and see. Okay. B, F, <laughs> F is front. So, I didn't I didn't make any changes except I reduced the seam allowance. Now I'm pretty sure it's still going to be too small in the hips, but we'll see how the waist ends up. Okay, so I think the waist is okay. 
but hmm, let's see. Let's see if I can move the camera down so you can see the hip a little bit better. Definitely need more room in the hip because it is like right there. And if I sit, yeah, that's gonna be, I'm gonna be way too tight. Yeah. This fabric has a little tiny bit of stretch, but not a ton. So I think what I'm gonna need to do is reduce the seam allowance on the bodice and reduce the seam allowance obviously on the skirt but I'm going to need to add width but I'll need to taper it I'm not going to change the top but I will taper down I mean pretty much almost from the waist I'm going to taper down all the way all right yeah I just need a little bit more a little bit more room there okay I need to add to each seam for the skirt I added enough to fit my hips and tried to keep the tapered angle from getting too wide at the hem I did here guys I drew my extra bit and then I folded the paper so that I can cut them all out as one I think I have enough of this green seersucker fabric it is a blend I'm pretty sure I don't think it's a hundred percent cotton but it's been washed and so it's definitely thinner it's not a suiting material like the original but I don't have enough of any suiting material to make this out of so I'm gonna make it out of a lighter material I'm also not going to be doing any French seams so yeah Chris got me a new little friend for Valentine's Day. So cute. <laughs> for the bodice, I transferred all of the registration marks, darts, and pleat marks with my chalk pencil. I pinned the shoulder pleats and folded and pinned the center fronts. All of the bodice pleats were pinned and then I thread marked my darts. The darts are pretty small. After sewing the darts, I removed the basting thread. The front bodice pieces are pinned to the back at the side seams and shoulder seams. To the machine to sew the bodice together. I went 
ahead and zigzagged my raw edges even though I cut the pieces out with pinking shears. The collar and collar lining are next. I didn't use a different lining fabric, I just used the same fabric. They are pinned and sewn right sides together, leaving the neck edge open. After trimming and turning out, the collar and neckline of the bodice are pinned together with a bias strip on top. The wrong side of the collar is pinned to the right side of the bodice. After sewing, the bias strip is folded over the raw edges on the inside and whip stitched down. Time for sleeves! I pinned and sewed the elbow darts on the lower sleeve pieces. Okay, I have just had some confusion about the lower sleeve piece. In my brain, oop, I just kicked the camera. In my brain, lower sleeve meant like down here <laughs> above the cuff and I don't know why I wasn't thinking it's the lower sleeve under the arm because there's an elbow dart which yeah that took me a while to figure out so uh now I know and I, I kept thinking okay why are these there are these registration marks here and there aren't any on the bottom of the upper sleeve my brain has figured it out at this point so now I'm going to attach the lower sleeve to the upper sleeves uh. <laughs> French seam here then we'll do the French seam on the other side just so I don't get confused okay so now we've sewn wrong sides to wrong sides we're gonna trim the seam allowance and then turn it right side to right side I pinned those trimmed seams right side to right side and then sewed again with a quarter inch seam allowance. Now the raw edges are completely encased on the inside. The next step is pinning and sewing the sleeves into the arm size matching marks. They are gathered slightly at the top to fit. Finally, the cuff pieces are sewn together and added to the bottom of the sleeves. The sleeve bottom edges are gathered to fit the cuffs. The cuffs are turned in to cover the raw edges and whip stitched down. Oh 
Okay, the bodice is all put together. So all that's left is to put the skirt panels together and then attach them to the bodice. So. I began pinning the skirt to the bodice waist edge right sides together. I realized that my calculations were a tad off and my skirt waist was a little bigger than the bodice waist. Okay, so what I've decided to do since my skirt and my bodice are not lining up correctly, at least the skirt waist is a little bigger than the bodice waist, which I should have thought about. I mean, I, I had to alter and I'm sick today, so my brain is not... Uh, you know, working. But anyway, so what I'm going to do is this, I'm going to do a couple of little pleats in the skirt where the pleats on the bodice are. And that way, at least those, those pleat lines will match up so it won't look weird. And yeah, that's my plan. <music> steps. Sewing the bodice and skirt together, zigzagging the raw edges, and hemming. I did my hem by hand. And it was finished. I think this dress turned out so cute. I would totally wear it for work because it doesn't look extremely historical or costumey. Links to the pattern and all of Kenna's info are linked below. What do you think about 1918 styles? Let me know in the comments. Thanks to my monthly coffee supporters. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you spending your time with me. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't, and if you'd like to be notified whenever I upload, you can hit that little bell icon. To support the channel further, I have a coffee account and that is linked down below. Again, thank you so much and I will see you on our next sewing adventure. Bye!